Alrighty. I'm just gonna watch this cutscene, and then the next episode will start with us playing. So. Just keep it with that. Yeah. Rick Henderson, first edition. He's expecting you this way. Alrighty, pretty much this storyline is pointless. Basically, I'm gonna tell you basically what all it is about. This dude in a wheelchair is just trying to find Hitman, Agent 47, whatever you want to call him. That dude's a reporter. Pretty much need to get that out of the way. All right. Um, basically, with my thing with this is um, I'm going to uh, play this series right here, just Hitman Blood Money. Hopefully finish it before Absolution comes out. And yes, it does come out in November, but I don't know how slow I'll be with this. Hopefully I can get it out real quick. But yeah, I want to play this game, get this out of the way, and then like move in right into Absolution. Now, I'm not sure what I'll be getting it for. I may get it for the Xbox, or I may get it for the PC. Not sure yet, but either it's going to be on my Pinnacle, or it's going to be on Fraps. So, either way, it's going to look decent. So, yeah, and that's basically what I'm going to do. So, yep. I'll let y'all watch the rest of this. Please. It begins with a little incident at a vineyard in Chile that caught my eye some time ago. This was a family business. Fernando Delgado and his son Manuel. Well-liked, hard-working men. Have a look at the folder. Oh yeah, I can just do it from here. It's in Chile. Hmm. His name is Fernando Delgado. Used to be a colonel in Pinochet's intelligence service. Now he's running a cocaine factory under cover of a, a cocaine. vineyard. Satellite imaging suggests the lab is underground. Fernando's son, Manuel, is on the coke trade. So to make it look like a drug hit, you'll have to take him out too. We'll get you in with a pensioner's club from Santiago for the big celebrity unveiling of Delgado's new wine label, named for 80s B-action star Rex Stanton. There'll be at least one TV crew on hand, so keep an eye on them and their cameras. Delgado's got a seaplane, and that may be your best way to get out in a pinch. Alright, well, uh, welcome back, everybody. Um, let's see, how do I buy this? sure got it okay well I'm back so uh, let's start the first mission this is considered the first mission so yeah a vintage year I can get this done pretty quick so basically how you might know it's gonna be basically a uh, mission each episode not sure how many episodes, or not episodes, how many missions there are. It's not that many. At least some take long, some don't. Alright, so let's start off with I always go down here. It does not matter what all you can do. I used to go down that way and knock out that guard, but there's just more shit that goes along down there. So this is pretty much your best bet if you want to get a guard outfit. Okay, so. Uh, Move along on down here. Just kind of walk right here. We tease like this. Grab your gun. See if I can get this really quick. 
Let's put that up real quick. Uh, I can't get up to him real far yet. Alright, there we go. Alright, so I'm a little bit not that good with the PC. It's a little bit easier when you're on the console. But yeah, uh, just get his ass in this area. It, it probably doesn't really matter where you knock him out at. I just always put him up here just in case. Don't ever know if any AI would ever come back here. So yeah, take his suit. Start running back down. Now let's go ahead and save it. Right here, just in case. Alrighty. And yes, I'm going to have some saves because, you know, this game is challenging. I'm not a pro at it, so. Yeah. Just kind of move your ass on up this way, go up this pole. Not many people really see you, I don't think. Usually when I do it, no one does it. But you never know what's going to happen. So yeah, just climbing through here. Doesn't matter what you use, I'm going to use poison. Poison this motherfucker. And just leave him there. So yeah. And then what I like to do is instead of going back down that pole, which usually you do get seen, or I have been seen numerous times going back down that pole, I just go around the edge again. Don't even bother it, don't even risk the biscuit, so let's just keep going down here. you're going to want to do is just come on back over here and just just run your ass on down this little area don't mind the people looking at you just 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 be cautious of your surrounding and there's your other target right there so yeah i'm just gonna kind of kick it right here Everyone's like buff as shit in this game. Like, I mean, it's ridiculous. I never noticed a data tattoo. Hmm. See, the PC, the PC is a lot better graphically than the console games. I know that's always true, but I mean, damn, it's just it's unbelievable. All right, and then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna get a mine, and you're gonna place that bomb right there. Okay. So then what you're going to want to do is wait. Now basically we're going to be playing the waiting game. Big time. Can't even really see. Are you looking at motherfucker? See, basically what this dude's going to do is, you see that little thingy right there? You don't want to do it right then because he's going to be right there. You're going to have to wait because later on he's going to come in and he's going to stand right about here. So, you know, that's right about there, and he's going to be crouched down, tying his shoe. So, yeah. So, for right now, we're just going to play the little waiting game. I'm probably going to speed it up, so... Yeah. Depending on how long it was, no, it takes. I think that's Coke. See, it would be neat if uh, you could like poison the coke. See, look, you can see them over there when they go through that little area. And they're like sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. And another thing you can do, which is, it's really risky. I've done it before, and it just takes too damn long. But you can like basically, uh, like, he'll come over here, snort some coke. And then he'll start walking over here, and then he'll take his sweet time, and then go over here. And most of the time, you can either A, 
grab him with your gun as a human shield, or you can sedate him, or you can choke his ass out. Now, it is very hard because sometimes he gets too over here and he opens the door and you're pretty much like fucked. Or you'll get up too close to him and he'll like get up and turn around and look at you and go, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and run away, or he grabs his gun. But yeah, once you get him and you do that successfully, you just open the lid, throw his ass on in there, close the lid, and finish the mission. Hell yeah. I'm trying to think, what else is... Let me, let me look at something real quick. Oh, I need to know what mission briefing is. Controls. Oh, okay, I'm getting ready to say what the hell. In game menu, escape. Brief is B, M is M app. Menu down is down. Okay. Alright, that's good. I'm just making sure that you just gotta kill these two dudes and leave. Most of the time you have to fucking get something or do shit like that. So yeah. Oh, here he is. Let me just go ahead and get to my thing. And basically, as far as with the map, let's see, can you focus? Alrighty, uh... Basically, from here, he'll come over here, walk on down, and go right here. So, yeah, I'll probably speed this up right now. Do that. We're going to... Check mark. Put the detonator away. Be like, oh shit, what the fuck happened? Oh my god. What the hell? He's dead. What the f What the fudge? Oh, what the. Oh, he's dead too. Oh shit. Oh well. So basically, what you do now is just fucking run away. You're just kind of like, what the fuck just happened? He's gonna look at you like. Oh, he's not gonna look at you. He's not gonna look at you. Yeah, he's not gonna look at you. He's not gonna pay attention. Alright, so you're just basically like, oh man, I gotta go. You gotta go get the boat. <laughs> yeah. Now what you do is you just just leave. That's that's all you gotta do. Is just leave. So you gotta go over here. Get your suit. Oh, didn't mean to drag the body. Drop the body. Get my suit. And you're and you're free to go. You're just you're just free. You're free. You still got the little yellow bar. No, don't worry about that. Just don't worry. What the hell? Okay. So yeah, that was the that was our first mission, everyone. It was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. So yeah, just just take your long descent down here. Just look at the nasty ass mercury water. There's something loud outside. It's just irritating me. It's like a leaf blower going outside. It's just, 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 just messing with me. All right, so just in case, save it right here because I don't really remember. Does it matter? You sure you want to overwrite? I'm really fucking positive. Now, I'm pretty sure I can just go straight away and just get on the fucking plane. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter what these fuckers think of you. Yeah, see, they don't... Oh, he does give a shit. Uh, escape. Okay. We escaped, everyone. Yay! Go 47. I know you can drive a plane. 
Oh, hell yeah. Shots fired, zero. Close combat kills, one. Accidents, one. Bodies found, one. Caught on camera, hell no. A specialist. Wow. <laughs> that makes me sad. Okay, um... Mm. So continue. <laughs> Alright. We're pretty much good on this. He's dead. I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to say bye bye to all you lovely people. And I will see you next time. So, yeah. See you next time on the next episode of Hitman Blood Money. Ha, ha, ha.